Welcome to Good Mood Feedback Chemistry. Nowadays, many directors keen to use some chemistry or physics concepts in their movies to show they are kind of professional. Today, <coughs> I will give two examples of chemistry error in the movies. The first one I will talk about is 21 Jump Street. 21 Jump Street is an American action com comedy in 2012. It talks about two police officers are forced to undercover as a high school student to prevent the outbreak of a new drugs and catch its prior. Now, let's watch a short video. I'm almost out of ammo. We're fucked. I got an idea. You still got those shotgun shells? Yeah. Pop quiz notes. What do you get? With lithium batteries, reactive potassium nitrate. That would be a covalent bond, brother. That's when two atoms, they share electrons. You see, they both need what the other one has. That makes them stick together. Are you saying we're covalent bonds? What? No. We're not atoms, dude. Tequila? I don't know. It's, it was supposed to explode. Where'd you learn how to do that, man? Ab chemistry, bitch. Can you find where's wrong in the movies? In the movies, the man said the potassium nitrate is a covalent bond. But actually, potassium nitrate is an ionic bond because potassium, potassium is in the group 1 on the periodic table is an alkaline metal. He always found um, an ionic bonding. And potassium nitrate is a solid and moderately soluble at room temperature. And the second reason is, the second error is about the energy. And the equation of this reaction is below. This reaction requires heat to react. Although it adds some alcohol to push it to get the activation energy, but um, you may not get enough heat to explode. Now, let's move on to the second movie. The second one I will talk about is Sherlock. It's a British American crime drama. Um, it based on the origi original detective story. The famous character Sherlock Holmes solved many mysteries in the modern day London with his friend Doctor Doctor John Watson. From the screenshots, we can see it's a uh, Elsio. <laughs> My, it's a glacial, sorry, but obviously, its uh, structural formula is wrong. The OE in the middle should be OH, and it also have a wrong name for it. The correct name for the for this compound is propane. One, two, three, try O. And the right structural formula is also on the screen now. Um, that's all my presentation. And here is the reference. Thanks for watching.